What's up y'all, this is John Egger. Before we get in today's episode, I'd like to announce that the show is a proud partner of Ryan Cutter on Twitch. Make sure you give him a follow, I will leave a link to his page down in the description. Make sure you check him out, he's always playing tons of different games, shooter games, uh, you know, RPGs, different types of things, and he's always keeping it interesting and fun and mixing it up. So make sure you go follow him, that is CutGuy06 on Twitch. Let's get into the episode. What's up, y'all? Welcome. Welcome to episode 98 of Eggcast with John Egger. It is me, your host, the one, the only John Egger. I'm uh, very happy to be here. I'm shifting around like a madman just because I just sat down. But, um, you know, th- like uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to anybody who listened uh, to last week's episode. I know a couple people uh, reached out. And uh, I appreciate that so much. Um, thank you to V for being by my side throughout this past week. You know, she's my rock. I just want, want to thank her for being with me through, like, the events of the past week. And just, like, being, just, just like, sh- showing me that she's, you know, always there for me. Like, that's really important to me, you know. And same goes for my, my friends. Those are some solid motherfuckers. And I always know I can count on them, you know, um, shout out my man, big fella, uh, Jack, Sean, Sean Rain, um, Dante Rain, who I haven't seen in a little while, but (laughs) he's always, he's always fucking there for me. And, uh, last but not least, the crazy motherfucking Turk, Sirkan, who's, uh, staring at me right now. He's sitting, sitting back behind the scenes while I record this show. But um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for just being there for me. Anybody else also who just, you know, reached out or even if we didn't talk necessarily about about that or anything, but just that you were there for me and that like you reached out or you sent me something funny and just like any of my friends out there that we like went back and forth. Like I appreciate you all just being in my life and like just all the all the support. Like I, I, I appreciate all the support that everybody has given me, whether it be, you know, a lot or a little every bit counts you know and it, and, it, and just like showing just it doesn't have to be like you did something or th- you did this or that but just like for people just to reach out and just take like a couple seconds out of their day to show that that they care you know i i really appreciate that that shit doesn't go unnoticed or unthought of so i really appreciate that um yeah man it's been it's been a weird time it's been a time of of adjustment for a lot of people it's been a time of shift a time of change you know like things are changing i'm starting to realize like like this past week kind of made me realize for the first time in my life that i'm not in the generation that i once was like it might sound stupid but like it almost feels like kind of a slow like goodbye to my childhood and realizing that i'm opening up into the next like like i'm i'm opening up into the next generation you know like like um where people like around my age we're all kind of taking that journey of like becoming young adults and like I'm seeing the people who I who used to be you know like my parents and my aunts and uncles like seeing them enter like a new a new um stage of their lives you know and just like just seeing everybody kind of pass the torch and like seeing people grow up and now there's new new life you know in our family throughout um you know with like with the with um younger kids and it's just something really crazy to see but like it's awesome to see like your family sticking together and seeing seeing everybody like stay together and realizing that the family is you know kind of like like growing and like shifting but like at the end of the day like the core is like staying together and like being there for each other you know and I think that's really awesome but my but yeah my point is, is that it's just a crazy time like I'm this is the first time in my life where I've really started to see like the, as far as like my family goes, like the changing of the guard and like realizing that, oh shit, like I'm not who I just was 
for those past so many years like times have changed you know like time has brought us all to this place where we are now like the new generation of uh young adults you know which is like weird to think about and like a lot of days I still feel like a child and I'm sure I certainly act like one but it's just really crazy to feel like that that shift come on or just like kind of realize like the inklings of like those changes coming on you know and like and with time comes adapting and changing you know because if we never changed or if we never adapted we would just get stuck in the same old thing you know get stuck in a cycle or something like that and you're not really gonna achieve progress if you don't change you know sometimes we make changes and maybe they weren't always the best changes for us and we have to rectify those changes you know but i think taking the chance to even like change at all or to to try anything different is why people's entire lives have changed you know like think about all the people who ended up starting you know who and anybody who ever did anything big it most more often than not they did 30 things before that that never went anywhere or that failed or that nobody heard about and they could have just stuck with like this or they like like they could have just stuck with this or that but something in them made them take that risk to venture to venture out to do to create or to do that thing that ended ended up uh being the change they they needed in their lives you know and it kind of just yeah that brings <laughs> brings me in to the point that um there are going to be some some changes, you know? There are going to be some changes with the podcast. Not necessarily... I, I can't tell you exactly how they're going to come about. And I don't want you to think that I'm leaving you. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back. I don't want you to think that it's over and, you know, whatever. But there's going to be... there's Changes are coming. There's going to be changes. Um, I actually have a um, a new name in the works. I'm sorry if that kills anybody if that uh if that kills your your dreams and hopes of an ever an ever long like egg cast and like maybe something like similar off the name can like come back and like a spin-off because like I've always really wanted to do like a cooking show like too like I kind of want to maybe I can somehow work that in there but anybody who's you know live live anybody out there I don't know if there's a few of you probably that are living breathing dying Eggcast and the name Eggcast with John Egger. Um, I'm sorry to say that episode 100 will be the final episode of Eggcast with John Egger. And honestly, <clears throat> I think it's for the best, you know? I'm not saying that um, this new name and this new approach to the podcast is going to be like a hundred percent different or something super out of su super out of the ordinary compared to what this show is i'm not saying that we're just going to do the exact same thing and then just tape a new uh whatever over it but at the end of the day you're going to get me and you're going to get the people i know and the people who come in here and like it's me I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the plan is yet like maybe the format will change a little bit maybe just naturally it'll just kind of you know, just become this conversation, but shit is going to change, you know, shit is definitely going to be different, I don't know if it's going to be like a whole new thing, trust me, it's not going to be like, we're not going to turn into a fucking game show, or, you know, we're not going to, um, we're, we're not going to put Sirkan up on a up, up on a stage and throw darts at him, tell him to fucking dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, or we're we're not doing any crazy shit like that. I want to start getting into doing more wild shit. Like, like we gotta start. Um, we gotta start taking TikToks of you, bro, and 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 um, getting you out there in public or just doing funny things or doing sketches or whatever. Like, I want to start expanding to more, and that's why I'm really like excited for. I'm excited to bring on this like initial change that I've been kind of thinking of and I've had in the works for a while I originally when I th had this idea wanted to switch everything over way back in January 
and I realized that wasn't exactly feasible and I was like all right well like slowly we'll just kind of wait for like time and time and then what I really wanted to do was have episode 100 or then going into the new episode of you know the new chapter of the podcast um I wanted to do something crazy like a big show and like have a bunch of people out there have like a a big live show and get everyone together uh and honestly just between life and just going through the day to day and doing you know the show having a good time with my friends just trying to work and like live my life uh I like I've I've kind of planted the idea with some people but I haven't really like planned it it enough where I'm like I'm like if I tried to really throw that all together uh now like right in between everything that's you know uh, going on it would probably be tough so I'm still gonna do it but I think it's just gonna have to be put off for a little bit you know so the 100 like extravaganza thing or whatever like it's not gonna be like this like like I'm not gonna have a huge thing just for the episode 100 what's gonna happen probably is once we release the new show um maybe we'll do the the live show like in between that time and then like release it or maybe we'll just start with the new show and uh you know move on to like eventually doing that and then like having that way um that way we'll have time to like uh you know get people get people like um the merch out because we want to do a merch giveaway for when we for for when we uh switch over to you know the new name and the new the new chapter of uh of this podcast or I should say of um my podcasting quote unquote career my my career I'm currently in the in the red in my podcasting career but hopefully someday that changes but um yeah like we want to get y'all like ready to be able to come out there you know hopefully um I mean it depends it really depends on the setting and the scene because if we end up doing it somewhere like outside it would be nice to do it like outside at, like a cool place or like whatever but then if we end up doing it um uh if we end up doing it inside somewhere maybe we can just like I don't know maybe we can just uh do it like later in the in the summer maybe even the fall I, I'm not I'm not exactly sure when that's all going to go down but I recommend that if you're hearing this now and you're interested about that, you either just like hit me up and reach out to me because I can answer any questions you want. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lock anything in. I'm not going to set anything in stone because I don't want to put these people in a place like that. But I know like some people, um, some, some great artists that have been on this podcast, uh, somewhat recently, you might say, you know, uh, agreed that they would be super down to do a show and love to do something and I would love nothing more than to have fucking all them come out and put on a great show for y'all. You know, anybody in this area, like most of the people who listen to this are people from my hometown, you know, homegrown uh, South Jersey area. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we could do something cool around here, have a good fucking time, maybe set it up. You know, everybody could have have a few drinks, just, to, like, enjoy themselves uh, responsibly, of course, you know, and, um, and we could get a great fucking show together, you know, but I'm not trying to focus too much on, on that. My, my focus with this podcast today is really just to announce and let you know, like, I can't, I'm not going to ruin the surprise. I keep reminding myself, like, don't say the name, don't say the this, don't show this, don't show that. But, um, but, I just want to get you prepared and like let you know that changes are coming and like I don't want that to I don't I don't I don't want that to upset anyone. I I really realistically don't think that will upset anyone, but um I'm sorry if you're going to miss the egg cast. I mean, it's really not going to be the this new chapter like it's not it's not like you're never I don't feel like you're really going to miss me or us or whoever cuz we're all just going to be right here like at the end of the day. Like, the podcast is the podcast, and, like, I'll always keep podcasting, but it's just time to, it's just time to give it, like, a, just, it's just time to do something fresh, you know, and, uh, also just, like, logistic things for the listeners out there, uh, the RSS feed will not be different, so you don't have to worry about, 
um, oh, do I have to resubscribe on Spotify or Apple Podcast or whatever? It's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same feed, so you don't have to resubscribe. Like you'll still be subscribed, and things will just change over. You know, like artwork and name things, things of that kind of sort. And um, yeah, you won't have to worry about that. This is really like it's not so much about the physical changing of this podcast, like this changing this name and like just changing the the brand is something that I knew for a while needed to be done. Um, I sure like Eggcast with John Egger is like, yeah, it's, um, it's basically something that just kind of came together, you know, and I know for some people it just feels right, but it's just, it's just a brand and like, it's just something limited that I can't see, like, I can't see being like, uh, you know, feasible in the long term, uh, as far as like actually getting the name and the show out there to more people. But more importantly, like it kind of just represents like my start of this, you know, and like way back when I started, when I really, really wanted to do a podcast and me and my buddies would get together and just record one just for fun that we never even ended up putting out or like just to re record something just to try it, like for training, you know, and then eventually working up to actually doing one, doing the first one with me and my, my man, Sean Rain, uh, sitting down and actually talking for like 45 minutes, <clears throat> just like about literally about just like the like nothing like just the most stupidest things no fucking no direction no point but just but just starting and talking and getting our thoughts on like on the page you could say or like in the recording like getting the shit out there <clears throat> excuse me i got a frog in my throat um not a great quality for a podcaster is it but um it it was just it it was just us like just starting and getting something out there you know what i mean and just like just like putting the first thing out like the audio wasn't great the conversation was definitely just like limited and just kind of small talk about whatever and just like stupid silly thoughts you know but but it was a start it was like all right we figured out how to do this you know and then it was like one after the other it was always like something new with like a technical thing or a bug like and just like just learning how to get how to get here and like it and like why look looking back now and watching like from like the from episode one to episode 10 where I figured out oh I, I can get just like the little things I figured out along the way to like make it a little bit better you know and then like upgrading the microphones and going through like that little phase and then eventually uh switch getting like webcams and switching up things and then the cameras were like were like buggy and would fuck up like but but it didn't matter because it's like oh now we have split screen now we don't all have to sit in the same now we don't all have to sit in the same um in the same frame and just record off a webcam and I don't need to have people sitting on my bed like we got a couch for the guests to, to sit on instead of just fucking sitting on my bed and being like bro like what the fuck you know what I mean like having nothing to lean up against we did a me and Livy and me Livy Dante Sean and maybe Mark, Mark Baselli, we did like a, we did a three hour, three and a half hour podcast. They were all sitting on my bed and Mark was sitting on like a table or something. And, um, we, and then we, we talked for like two hours, did the podcast for three hours and then fucking for another two hours, talk, talk more. And I'm like, and I'm not even thinking about the fact these people are sitting here for seven eight hours with no backrest like nothing to even rest their back on like you know what i mean meanwhile i'm sitting in my chair like whatever and i was like bro this ain't cool so like i um i had a new vision i was like yo i gotta re-envision a studio space i wanted a new bed because i would, my old bed was just like i was just done with it so like i ended up getting a new bed bed frame and then getting the the couch for the guests you know what i mean and it all just and with that came the premonition of you know new mics and like just new equipment and just upgrading and and you know shit got better and i was um 
and then I started recording it this way and it, the you know what I mean like I learned I learned a little bit more throughout each episode with like the technical stuff and like I got a little bit better and like made the quality a little bit better to the point where now I feel like sure it can definitely get better but I know how to produce a pretty good podcast especially for video or audio like especially audio but like but like even like even for for the budget I have or the shit I have like I I know how to make a create a video podcast pretty damn well now and I'm you know, I like I'm not trying to just like pat myself on the back all day or fucking be like, oh, like I'm so great, like whatever. That's not my point with this, but just like I'm just proud of myself for that. That like I got to that point because when I because because I could have waited until I figured out how to do this and then started episode one. But where the fuck would I be? Like, you know what I mean? Like I would I would have nothing to show for it. Like I I would I would just it would just be like, oh, you just figured this out. Like no, like it <clears throat> I would have never figured this out if I hadn't done all those previous shows where the camera was fucked up or this was fucked up or whatever. Same, more importantly, not more importantly than actually producing and putting the podcast together. Um, I learned how to talk to people. Like I've always enjoyed talking to people and, or no, I, I don't want to say I've learned how to talk to people cause I've always had diarrhea of the mouth and been able to spew and just talk and just fucking not, you know, just, just, just talk, talk, talk. The podcast has taught me how to listen to people better. I've become a better listener. And there's plenty of times throughout shows where I have caught myself not listening to the guest. And it, of course, it makes, it makes the podcast suffer, you know, like I, um, I've always, so I, for those of you who don't know, I have like undiagnosed or self-diagnosed I don't know if I really do or not but I'm pretty positive that I have some form of ADHD and uh it can be really hard for me to like sometimes I just have poor like retention skills and it can be hard for me to like think about one thing at a time and fucking stay on task and when people were coming in here and I was talking to them it was like I was so excited to talk 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 but then when they would go to say something I'd be so worried about oh what if I get dead air like what if I don't know what to say that I would just sit there and like, I had an idea in my head that I would just hold it until they were done talking. And when they said something, I would just be like, yeah, yeah. And then I would just go on to my own thing, you know? And it's like, bro, like you're not even like, I'm not even responding to this person now. It's like, now we don't even have a connection. It's just like, they're saying something. And then I'm just saying, you know, saying something back. Or I've had the flip side where sometimes I'll bring people in here and I'll go to talk to them and they'll be like, um, of course they're doing fucking landscaping work the one day the one day i go to do a podcast they're not even being that loud though so let me count my blessings um but uh like yeah the fucking like sometimes i bring people in here and like i would try to and i would try to be like an active listener and i would be an active listener and just go kind of like back and forth with them and it's like all they want to do is bab babble you know and i can't get that back and forth and i got a taste of my own medicine because there's a lot of people that I've brought in here that I've done that to, you know, especially early on with the shows. And like, I'm sorry for the people who had to, who had to sit there and like, kind of just kind of, kind of, kind of just sit there and listen to me. You know, I know Sir Kane doesn't mind doing it cause he don't want to talk and be on the, the show. You know what I'm saying? But like when I have people on and they're trying to really be like, they're trying to be engaged and, and listen and they're and, and be into it and and you know um get that genuine like connection and that response back and forth like i know that i know that's happened a lot throughout shows and we've had a lot of great shows but i'm sorry to the people where i've just kind of like acted like almost i didn't even realize i was doing it but like acted like i was listening and really just be thinking about whatever idea i had next or or what next should i fucking say you know and i'm sorry it's not that's I, I wasn't trying to do that to purposefully not respond to you or not feel not not connect with you or not feel like I was you know listening to you it was more so just how I used to deal with like how really bro you're gonna fucking <laughs> um it was more so just how I how I used to deal with uh worrying about like what am I gonna worrying about getting together the podcast it was not until the the podcast taught me 
that when you actually do listen to people and you and you don't worry about what you're going to say next or what thought you have, that's when you actually become genuinely like you're listening so you become genuinely responsive and interested in what that person has to say and that's where the 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 best convert that's where the great conversations come from because you don't have to think about what you're saying it's just all flowing and it makes sense and you're just going through rather than rather than them talking and you getting in a bunch of gibberish a bunch like you don't even know what the fuck they just said and then you're like yeah and then you cut them all you cut the fucking conversation down uh, with a fuck with a sword and then you're just like uh, uh and then you're just like oh, I'll build a new one like oh I saw this like no that that's that's not if I want if if that's really what I wanted to do then I would just do these solo shows forever I don't even really like doing these solo shows like I I enjoy them sometimes like sometimes I need them to like get out my get out my shit you know or like, get out my yayas yo bro don't touch the the tripod with your foot bro <laughs> you are something else sir my 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 boy but um but uh <laughs> like um yeah man fucking if i wanted to do that and i wanted to not listen to people all day i would just sit here and do these by myself all the time you know but like <clears throat> that's really what more than anything what doing a podcast and being a podcaster has brought me is that connection you know and like um it's taught me how to listen, you know, it's taught me how to listen better, and I'm still learning how to be a better listener, because sometimes I'm, I'm just, like, completely out of it, I'm just not paying attention, you know, but, like, with, like, the podcast, where it's something where it, um, more, for lack of a better term, forces me to sit down with people and really listen and, like, be, be, um, thoughtful about what they have to say, you know, like, it, and, and and be on a camera where it's like you have to basically make conversation for it to work you know you have to connect for it to work if if not it's it'll be awkward like it, you might be able to pass pass through it but it's just not going to work you know so like it's something that's like helped me learn how to connect with people how to make people feel comfortable and like welcome accepted you know and like um and really has taught me to be a more active and present listener you know and 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 that's probably what I'm the most grateful for throughout doing the podcast. If I, I, I'd have to say doing this podcast, the, the most, the thing I'm most grateful for, honestly, is just the connections I've made along the way, you know, with, with friends and family. And I, I guess fam, some family has been on the show, you know, and just like, and, and, and people, whether that means that you were on the show and that we had an awesome time, like, laughing about it and, like, and, you know, talking and being on here and, like, we just had a good time connecting and, um, or people who reach out to me, like, friends or family who will say, like, hey, like, I, I checked out your podcast, like, I saw you had this person on or I was listening to this one and they just, like, sh sh just the people who have, sh who have, like, verbally shown support, you know, or verbally, physically, whatever have shown support, like, have, have really made the difference and made it all worth it, you know, like, and, yeah, between the connections of the actual guests and just, like, meeting, you know, new people through it, um, and, and going on some other podcasts, like, shout out to, um, my man, Jacob Moriello, who's a guest on here, uh, going on his podcast, Snakes Chat, was fun, I had a great, great time doing that with him, um, going on the Angry Algorithm, shout out to the Angry Algorithms boys, my man Bill, my man Justin, uh, those guys are awesome over there, um, Molding the Mindset, the one I just did with um, my man Bobby Giosa, I, I would have never met that guy if it wasn't for just like seeing him on my on the Angry Algorithms, on my buddy Bill's show, and then reaching out and doing his show, like, it just, it just brings you meeting my buddy Eddie, like out of nowhere by chance at this at this party at this gender reveal party and then having him on the show and then meeting uh another podcaster Alex through 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 that through you know through through him and doing his show and then him coming on my show you know like like um it's been so cool just to meet new people and just like this is something that like it's funny when I first started it I was thinking like oh no like and then going in going into like I started it a year 
before the COVID-19 pandemic. But then even after that next year, I always thought this was something like, oh, this might, um, I knew it was going to have to bring me out of my shell, you know, just to be transparent and like not be embarrassed of like promoting that I had a podcast. Cause in the beginning I was embarrassed to be like on my store, on my Instagram story, like episode one is live. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, bro, like who the fuck am I to do that? Like people are probably going to be like, yo, this shit's corny. Like this shit's whack. And like, you know how normal, normal, normally people would just be like kind of self-conscious about that. But I knew I had to make the, the decision that, you know what, if you're going to commit to this and this is what you're going to be into and like you want to create content and you want to promote shit and you want to get out there, then you have to cut that shit in the bud right now, you know, and you have and and you have to not be you have to be shameless, especially if you want to be a comedian or you want to be in the comedy like you have to have no shame and just put all of your whole self out there, you know, and um that's something I learned from like I said like the very beginning of this show because I was like embarrassed kind of to like to promote the podcast but I was like for like a second and then I was like you know what no like you can't be embarrassed of this shit like you just got to keep doing it and doing it and hustling and grinding and just like slaving away at it and building it up and up and up and that's what I've been trying to do you know and it's wild I remember we were it was like episode seven and I was like, yo, like, we're about to be at episode 10, like, it'll be, like, a mini milestone, like, um, uh, and then that kid, Spencer, shout out to Spencer, my man Connor's cousin, it was that episode where we all freestyle rapped at the end, um, he was like, yeah, man, like, episode, s-. and, and that episode was so silly, because, like, we would kind of be in a conversation, but then there was, like, six of us in there, so it would end up, like, half of us were just talking about some gibberish, and then half of us were talking about something else. Like, it was truly a podcast to just have on in the background and not even fucking listen, you know? But then around the 45-minute mark, we started rapping, and that was really fun. But my, my point was, is that he said, yeah, man, like, you get to episode 10, and then soon, hopefully, like, uh, episode... He, he, he Or he said something like, first it'll be episode 10, then it'll be episode 100, you know? And when I thought back, like, when I when I thought about that, I'm like, damn, like... What will this shit look 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 like at a hundred? Like, will this even get close to a hundred? Is this something that'll even fucking persist and like happen? And like, I remember when I was first doing it, like I was doing it all the time and I was excited, but I also felt like, um, oh, like is this gonna put stress on me or like me and like my relationship or my fa- family and my friends, whatever? Like, is this something that's really gonna get in the way? And like, honestly, just like I'm so fucking happy and like grateful for the support that everybody's given me like nobody anybody who's like my real ass friend or you know somebody who's really just like a ride or die like no one has told me like oh why are you using your time to do that like like that's just dumb like you should get over that like just stop doing that like everybody has supported me and anytime I need to take time to to do the podcast or I have to edit it or work on it or do this word or that for it it's not like people treat me like oh, like, come on, bro, like, you really gotta do that, like, that doesn't even matter, like, no, like, people realize, I think, like, all the people that are close to me realize how much of a priority this is for me, and I'm really grateful just for the, their support, and just for, just, just for their understanding, you know, that this is important to me, and that I really hope for this to be something, uh, really influential in my life someday, you know, and I'm so appreciative of just everybody out there fucking supporting, uh, everybody out there, you know, who's listened up to this point, and, like, uh, it hasn't, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna act like, oh, we've had these crazy numbers or whatever, but, bro, I'm not even focused on the numbers, these 100 episodes were just me getting my chops out, you know, just, just, they were just, li- they were, they were, li- they were lively, they got, they, I was glad to be able to promote, help people promote their stuff and show, show talented and great, awesome people to the world. People that I think are so amazing, you know, each and every fucking one of them, like whether, it, whether it be like a creative person, content maker or an artist or a musician or whoever, or just like one of my fucking awesome, crazy fucking wacky friends, because like they're, I think they're talented and they have something that needs to be shown. You know, I, I don't put anybody on this show if I don't think they have something to to bring, even from the jump, even when I was, like, dying to get people on, because, like, I didn't know who to fucking talk to, or who to have on, like, I've never had anybody on who I didn't think was interesting, and didn't think, uh, deserved to be here, you know, so, like, so, like, 
I I I'm, I just want to say thank you so much to all the guests. Um, I'm gonna try to get a new guest list for this for when we step into this new chapter. You know, with this new name, new brand, new show. Uh, I'm gonna try to get <clears throat> like a guest list together and just kind of like stack up some record like a batch of episodes. That way, I have like a little cushion just to get me started. You know, and just like take some time away to have that all like have that all squared away maybe that's how it'll go maybe I'll end up just doing them kind of week to week like I do but I'm gonna try to at least plan plan something you know so I can uh so I can get all this shit together and yeah man I'm fucking I I feel bad I don't want to leave y'all hanging like short but like I I really don't know what else there is to say I mean my my whole point of this show is just to let you know that uh changes are afoot you know we're we're not um we're not gonna sit stagnant and stay in the stay in the same thing I think this new brand and this new like overall just like look and feel for the show will uh really help out I'm gonna try to I mean some things probably like the microphones and things like that will probably stay the same but like I'm gonna try to maybe see if there's a way while we're still in this kind of while we're still in this space <laughs> to um this motherfucker staring at me with the with the dumbest look on his face. <laughs> but um uh Sirkin, you are something else, bro. Um but um I'm gonna try to get uh I'm gonna try to get something going on in here where we can at least it like like just have it like looking nice and you know just fresh and new like it's not everything is going to be like super different but maybe I'll try to get something like I'll 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 try to <laughs> maybe I'll try to figure something out you know and uh I'm I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen yet but like my point another point I need to make before I wrap this up is that overall like this is going to take some time you know um, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take, but I don't want to, I don't want to, um, how do I put this rush into it and then just kind of like, like, yeah, I could rush into it and then just kind of go from there and be like, Oh, we got this, we got this, we got that. But honestly, I might maybe even like take a couple weeks off and just, just for my own, you know, personal, personal sanity and health and just getting like my own things together like and I'm we'll still be recording the the batch like the episodes but just just to kind of just just to kind of take a little a little breather you know and just make sure everything's set right like I I do these cameras and all this shit the best I can but maybe I'll reach out to a certain friend that I know like um my man Brendan who was on the Brendan who was on the show with Rob and uh Nick Marchenko that was a that was a great show he's a uh, he's really into film and videography. Like maybe I'll ask him or a couple people that I know or like have knowledge of this stuff. Like, Hey man, like what could I do to make my video look better? What, what, what angles should I, you know, like, I, I, I just want to come back. I just want to come back at it with something fresh, new that you can enjoy with a bunch of interesting, I don't want to say like interesting changes, but just things that'll like enhance your viewing and listening experience you know and and um yeah I don't know exactly how that's gonna go maybe the podcast will look similar to how they've been you know but I kind of just want to see like where what is what is next like what what is the right I don't know exactly what what is the right path for everything creatively as far as like what I want to do and accomplish you know but um it's something that we're going to achieve, you know, we're, we're almost going to achieve it together. Like I, maybe I'll start putting out polls and asking you guys, like, what do you like better? Uh, like YouTube watchers, do you guys like this, these angles? Would you rather see one of us at a time and not have to fucking look at both of our fucking faces? Like, uh, are you willing, would you, would you be cool with more zoom shows for the sake of me being able to reach out to, more people like personally I like the the connection I feel when I'm with someone in, in studio like would you rather see this person or this person in studio like who did you listen to on the sh on the egg cast that you really liked that you want 
back on this show, you know, so I'm sure I'll be reaching out a lot just to have that interactivity and that transparency uh, between me and y'all. And like at the end of the day, I'm not trying to say fuck you, like I'm not going to listen to any of your ideas, but at the end of the day, I got the pod to put out like I'm going to I'm going to get who I can that week to come in like I'm going to maybe it's not anyone maybe it's just me or maybe it's just me and like Sean or somebody like I'm going to do what I got to do to get the content to you but I am very open to suggestions and like if there's anybody you think that I would that we would have a good episode together that you that you're a fan of or that you like or your friend or whoever if you want them to reach out like all you know feel free to to um to let me know whether you message me or just leave a comment on one of my Instagram posts or some shit like that like um yeah just just you know just let me know whatever whatever you think whatever you people out there think uh you would like to see I would like to know that and then give you the best of what I can give you you know but um yeah I mean my main point for this show is that there are changes coming um, I, like I said before, uh, I, I regret to inform anybody if this is going to upset you, but, um, episode 100 of, Egg, of Eggcast with John Egger will be the last episode of Eggcast with John Egger as we spring into a new chapter, uh, in our podcast lives and a new fucking, you know, a new fucking escapade to go on I mean I'm, I can't tell you that the podcast is going to be a thousand times or way different because like it'll probably at the end of the day it's going to be my same voice and a lot maybe some of the same voices that you heard before you know but it's just going to be like a fresh new brand it's going to be packaged well I really want to like at, at the end of the day while this is meant to like re-excite people and have like a re have like a have like a re-celebration of the podcast and maybe like a new start that'll like excite people or get new fans or new people in at the end of the day i really feel like this is something to motivate me you know because eggcast with john egger is awesome and i could you know i could make eight more fucking artworks or logos for it or i could post like a thousand or like i could post 10 more fucking tiktok clips of the past podcasts and stuff and like sure that could help and everything yes but like it just personally I feel like I need this fresh new start I need this new I need to get excited about this new branding about this new show so I can fucking uh dive into it head fucking first you know and like motivate myself to be like oh this is new this is something new this is something I gotta put my all into so now I'm gonna put out that TikTok video every day like I'm gonna record these fucking, these shows, and I'm gonna reach out to these new guests who might be better, like, I'm just hoping at the end of the day that this is something that can, uh, motivate me to do something tenfold from what I did in the beginning and what what I started and what we worked up to now, you know, like, I'm absolutely proud and happy and just uh, so elated with what we've been able to accomplish, you know, as a motherfucking Eggcast family, but, um, I'm even more excited and fucking more happy about what the future can hold and hopefully what this change will bring uh to me and more importantly what it will bring to y'all and that it can just bring y'all you know it can bring new energy new light to the podcast uh new new faces new eyes new ears you know we can get more people on board and and whether you were, were an eggcast og or this is your first episode listening to the Eggcast, don't even fucking worry about it because we can all be fucking original gangsters, original fucking fans of the brand new show, the brand new chapter of uh, my podcasting and this podcast. And just so you know, just just so, you, just so everybody's clear again, I, it's going to be on the same RSS feed. I don't think I'm going to change it. So anybody who's subscribed out there anywhere, uh, you don't have to like resubscribe or try to look for it. Like it's going to be the same thing. If you ever want to actually listen to any of the egg casts, they will be <clears throat> right. They will be right back there. They will be the first 100 episodes of the new show in the, in the log at least. So it'll be like, 
So if you're going to look over the next few weeks, if you look, it'll be EggCast 98, EggCast 99, EggCast 100, and then uh, new n- new title, new show, episode 001. You know, so we're going to, so, and it's funny, I was so excited to get into the triple digits and then be like, oh, bro, like, I'm in the triple fucking digits, like, 100 shows, like, we're going to keep moving to 200, then 1,000, and whatever, and getting to that number, but at the end of the day, I'm starting to realize that number really doesn't fucking matter, yo, and, like, I'd be, I feel like I'd be more revitalized and uh, more excited about starting something from episode one again and, like, having having that same exuberance and that fucking like excitement and that like ready to push at episode one uh, of the egg cast, like having that same like youthful exuberance and just like that excitement. But knowing everything I know now up to 100 about just this space and what I can do to further it, you know, what I can do to further myself in it and the people around me. Um, I'm so fucking excited. Like that's, that that's what I'm trying to create. Hopefully I can create it. Not that I haven't not not that I've lost excitement for this, but it's like eventually once you get into the motions of things and you're doing it every day or every week and you're used to doing it this time and then you 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 know, you have to edit everything together. Like I'm pretty much a one man fucking operation. So like when you're doing all that, sometimes it can get monotonous and I'm not saying that you lose total excitement cuz I still I'm still excited every time I sit down to do a show. But it can it can just get tedious. You know how it is. Like you, you when you have too much of anything, you can kind of uh, resent it a little bit. You know. So I'm excited for this this brand new change coming. I'm excited for. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm excited for probably the couple of weeks that I or the few weeks that I will take off just to just to miss this again and just to get my head right and my head straight. You know. But more importantly, I'm so fucking excited for just like a fresh new start, you know? And like, I'm hoping that I can recreate like that, that I still have the ambition, but I'm hoping I can recreate that like youthful excitement ambition, like that tenfold fucking ambition to, to do this in my belly. Like I had when I first started the egg cast paired with all of the knowledge that I've accrued up to that point, you know, and just try to create something tenfold as fucking, uh, big and influential, you know? And I, I just, at the end of the day, I just want to say thank you so much for listening. I love y'all. Um, if you're wondering about the next couple episodes, I think my my plan... I haven't even talked to Sean about this, so I hope he's cool with it. But my plan is to do uh, a two-part thing with Sean Rain. Um, episode uh, 99 will be Sean Rain Part 1. And then episode 100 will be Sean Rain Part 2, where we will, you know, say our goodbyes to... Uh, what we've started, you know, and maybe I'll have like some other buddies come by like my other friends and shit like throughout that I don't don't know exactly how it's gonna work. It could also be that I'm just fucking sitting here by by myself next week I hope not, but maybe I'll I'll just be sitting uh, mano y mano to y'all and just and just just rapping more about the podcast But I think y'all have had enough of just me Just just saying all this shit, you know, so I'm gonna try to get some I'm going to try to get uh, the OG OG back in here and um, maybe some other, you know, familiar faces. But yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, changes are coming. I appreciate you all for tuning in today and listening. I'm hoping that I could, you know, provide you with the best entertainment I could. Stay safe out there. Take care of each other. Um, It's fucking hot. Make sure you're drinking enough water. If you have if you have any like elderly people that you care about, make sure they're eating enough food and drinking enough water, because I know how they how some of them can be tending tending to not remember to eat, you know, proper food. Like my my grandpa always eating junk food, you know what I mean, and barely drinking water on a 95 degree day when he's out in the middle of the heat. Like, just make sure just make sure uh, all the people around you are staying well fed, well hydrated. Um, staying healthy, take care of yourself, you know, if, if you're, if you're, if you're debating, should I exercise or not, just fucking exercise, go do it, just, just get yourself to do it, the hardest part of starting something is actually deciding to start and deciding to go, deciding to do it, once you get out there and you're doing it, you'll feel great and, like, you'll feel, you'll feel happy that you fucking 
decided to, you know? Uh, call people, call your fucking friends, tell them you care about them. It might seem corny, and your your boys might roast you for it or whatever, but just do it anyway. Fucking uh, call your mom, dad, or just go home and see them and be like, what's up? Like, I care about you. I love you. <laughs> like, even if they're like, <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> like, like, um, you know, I, I'm kind of a hypocrite because I have people that I know I haven't called in a while that I have to catch up with, but, um, just, just, you know. Try try your best to be there for the people that love you because like um, every day is a blessing. You know we can't we shouldn't take each day for granted because at the end of the day every day is a blessing because you never know when you might not have another day with that person ever again. You know so just be there for the people you love. Be there for yourself at the end of the day because if you're not there for yourself, you can't be there for anyone else. You know I fucking stand by that. And yeah, just just take good care of yourself. At the end of the day. You know, remember, you can't help anybody else if you're if you don't feel helped and you don't feel healthy. So, like, uh, make yourself your first priority. If you need that time away to just kind of go chill and relax and you need to you need to be alone, uh, go do that. Or if you feel like, you know what, I've been working too fucking hard. I've I've been putting myself in a box. I need to get out there with my friends and just chill out and just have a good time and just lay, let loose. Do that, too. You know, listen to your gut. Do whatever the fuck feels best for you. And take care of yourself. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. Um, thank you so much for listening. We love you. Uh, big things are coming, big changes. So stay tuned. Love you guys. See everybody next week. Peace. Thank you guys so much for listening to that episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great time. Hope it was massage for your ear holes. Make sure, if you haven't already, to follow CutGuy06 on Twitch. I have a link down in the description below. You can check out his Twitch page and follow him. He's always playing different games. He's playing, you know, Call of Duty, shooter games, RPGs, things like that. And he's always mixing it up, playing with different friends, keeping it interesting. So make sure you give him a follow. That is CutGuy06 on Twitch. Thanks, guys.